Welcome to Math Lesson 43. We are going to get started today. Today is a um, review lesson, so I'm going to try to do it really, really quickly because you also have a quiz today, so that should give you a little time to take your quiz and not have to spend it all on a video today. First, we're going to start with a quick review of our measures. Try to say the answer before I get to it. Ready? Here we go. One gallon equals four quarts. One yard equals 36 inches. One hour equals 60 minutes. One day equals 24 hours. One yard equals three feet. One pint equals two cups. One foot equals 12 inches. One quart equals Two pints. One minute equals 60 seconds. Very good. All right, take out your paper. Make sure you have page 85 in front of you. We're going to start by doing number one, the beginning of number one together. So it says, circle the incorrect products. Remember that a product is an answer to a multiplication problem. So circle the answers that are incorrect. Write the correct product in the blank. So if the answer is incorrect, you'll circle it, write the correct one in the blank. If it is correct, if it's right, if the answer is good, then you're gonna do nothing, okay? We had some people who misunderstood this exercise the last time, so we're gonna try it again together. Letter A says one times five equals one. Is that good or is that bad? It's good, right? What? No, it's not? You're right, it's not good. It's bad. Not one times five isn't one. Anything times one is itself, right? So one times five should be five, not one. So we'll circle the one and we will write five in the blank. It should not be one, it should be five. One times five equals five, not one. Let's try the next one. This one I won't trick you. Two times five equals seven. Is that right? Good or bad? Two times five equals seven. Bad. Two times five isn't seven. Two plus five is seven, but not two times five. So we will circle that answer. That is wrong. What goes in the blank? 10. 2 times 5 is 10. And then look at letter C. 3 times 5 equals 15. Is that correct? Yeah, that one's good. So we're not going to do anything to that. We're going to leave that one alone. If you want to, you can put a check mark in the blank so that you do something to know that it's good and you didn't just forget to do your problem. Okay, number two says divide and check. We're gonna do the first one together and then the other two you're gonna do on your own. So we have 46 divided by two. Let's start with four divided by two. That is two, very good. Then we do our next step which is to multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. Our next step is to subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0. Compare my 0 to 2. 0 is less than 2. So I will move on to my 6. Bring that down. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Good job. 3 times 2 is Six minus six is zero. Okay, so that's our answer. Let's check it. 23 times two. Three times two is six. Two times two is four. 46 and 46, do they match? Yes, they do, so our answer is correct. 
Okay, so you're going to do B and C now by yourself. Number three says use your ruler to draw a square with three inch sides. So you're going to take your ruler and draw a square, <coughs> excuse me, right around this picture. Okay, so draw your square right around. Each side should have three inches. So make sure that your line goes from the one to the three. The little information that it has there, it says the four corners is the only place in the United States where four states meet at one point. So the states of Arizona, Utah, New Mexico, and Colorado all meet together like a little square right at that spot in, in the United States that's called the Four Corners. So if you stood right there where they all meet, you could stand in four states at one time. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, right? Okay, number four says solve the story problem. Caleb has 99 books. He wants to divide them evenly among three shelves. How many books will he put on each shelf? Okay, let's check that out. So he has 99 books. He wants to divide them. So I know I'm going to divide. I'm going to divide them into three groups because he has three shelves. So I have 99 divided by three. And that's how you solve your story problem. So you'll put 99 divided by 3 in your workspace and solve the problem. Okay, number 5 says make a pictograph using the data given. At the library next week, the third graders checked out 21 fiction books, 24 Christian fiction books, 12 biographies, and 18 information books. So on your graph, you have fiction, Christian fiction, biography, and information. Those are your labels. You have library books chosen by third graders. That's your title. Then you have your scale. That each book, each picture of a book, is three books. So you need to draw a book. You need to draw books up there in those spaces. So for example, fiction. It says in your problem that they checked out 21 fiction books. Okay, there's 21 for fiction. How many little books do I need to draw to represent my 21 fiction books? Well, each picture represents three fiction books. So I'm going to count by threes. Here's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. I'm going to draw my other one over here. Twenty-one. So this represents, now make your books a little nicer. I'm just doing this to be fast right now. Okay, this represents my 21 fiction books. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. So there are all of my fiction books. You don't need to write the number there, but you count by threes to divide it up into the number of books. Christian fiction books, there's 24. So again, count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. One more book, 24 books. So write that many number of books. Then number six says, study the table that shows how many states chose each bird. Use the data to complete the bar graph. Color in the bars when you are finished. So they've done the first one for you. You have that table there. That says the birds and the states. So the chickadee, there's two states that chose the chickadee. They show you over there on the bar graph, the top line says chickadee. 
and they've drawn a bar that goes to the number two. So under that, you'll write bluebird. How many states chose the bluebird? Two. So your bar for the bluebird will go to the number two. And then finish the rest, okay? If you have any questions, if you're confused about anything, just let me know. If you need to call me, please ask first before you call, um, just so that you know I'm available and can take your call, okay? And I would love to help you. Just let me know that you need help, okay? Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.